The Scottish Tories complained that Nicola Sturgeon was getting too much airtime doing her daily briefings about the COVID. So the BBC have now stopped him. I don't know if there's a correlation between the two, but I know that the BBC will now no longer host the daily briefings of the First Minister talking about COVID. I mean, I know that the Tories were upset, the Scottish Tories, because they were worried that the Scottish people would like Nicola Sturgeon and her ability to contain and control and, and give us information about the COVID. Whether you appreciate her, apolit her politics or not, but I know that the Scottish Tories were upset about that. They shat their breeks so much that the rise and the search for independence is going hand in hand with Nicola Sturgeon's um, hosting of the daily briefings and the way she's handling COVID. I mean, I suppose you should be like Boris, go and do some wild swimming, hide in a fucking fridge, go for a camp day and uh, basically just avoid every interview that's possible and not speak about it and keep saying, we've got another ready Brexit. And he's basically got fuck all. It's a pizza that's not even defrosted yet. So yeah, I don't know if the BBC have bowed to Tory pressure, but how much has the Scottish Tories shit their breaks? <laughs> just means that we will now share the online um, daily briefings on the ScotGov Twitter site. And of course, I'll be doing the voiceovers and we'll share them wide and far as well. So I, you don't like it up, you days.